already spoken about uh, TDP. This is with regards to Pawan Kalyan now, who is arriving in Delhi and is expected to hold a meeting with the BJP top brass. Now, Pawan Kalyan is in alliance with both the BJP and the TDP separately. So, his opinion will also be taken into account on how the TDP will be coming into uh, the alliance with NDA and uh, what exactly is going to go on between the two parties, that is the TDP and the BJP. Let's go back to Pyle to understand Pawan Kalyan's role at this point. Uh, Pyle, coming back to you, if you could take us through, as we were just uh, telling our viewers, that he uh, Pawan Kalyan does have an alliance with the TDP as well as the BJP, but they're separate. So his opinion is quite crucial for the talks between TDP and BJP as well. What are we anticipating from his arrival in Delhi today? Well, uh, we are given to understand that possibly he could arrive sometime today or sometime tomorrow and have a meeting with the BJP top grass. Now, to understand, Pawan Kalyan is the, is the founder and of course uh, the president of the Janasena. The Janasena is a party which in fact has a control over the Kapu votes which account for about 6 to 7 percent votes as well. Pawan Kalyan is currently in the NDA. Uh, he has been somebody who supported the NDA and he was also in alliance with the NDA even in uh, even in the recent uh, Telangana elections as well. So. Pawan Kalan has just one agenda. He says that he's willing to ally with anybody who's willing to defeat Jagan Mohan Reddy because he feels Jagan Mohan Reddy has done the biggest disservice to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Having said that, yes, after Chandra Babu Naidu was arrested and was put into jail, Pawan Kalan had sought a meeting with uh, with Chandra Babu Naidu in jail. He had in fact gone all the way, if you remember, despite all the drama, had gone all the way uh, from uh, from you know from Hyderabad to Vijayawada to meet Chandra Babu Naidu. And apart from the family, probably is one of these only political leaders who was allowed to meet Chandra Babu Naidu. And soon after that, he announced his alliance with uh, Chandra Babu Naidu as well. So how it is going to benefit the BJP on ground? What is the situation on ground? How can the seat talks uh, talks take forward? Since he's already sitting member of the NDA, the BJP will obviously speak to him. This is on the similar lines. If you remember what happened in Bihar, and many people were opposed to Nitish Kumar, even then the BJP Tobras had said that they will speak to all the alliance partners, and they got everybody on board, whether it is Chirak Paswan or whether it is Ajitana Maji or even Upendra Kushwa, they got everybody on board before announcing that alliance. So on the similar lines, you will in fact uh, expect that the BJP Tobras will also speak to Pawan Kalyan and see how this can be taken forward because BJP does not have a base in Andhra Pradesh. If you look at the voting percentage, the BJP voting percentage in Andhra Pradesh is in the last election was less than NOTA and the BJP wants to make its imprint down south and they will have to ally with somebody. So obviously a tested ally of the BJP, Chandra Babu Naidu did extremely well in 2014. Of course, he had, he had a drubbing at the hands of Jagan Mohan Reddy in 2019. Jagan Mohan Reddy has been supporting the BJP-led government for bills, but BJP leadership says that, you know, Every party has a right to, in fact, make their party party stronger in a state. Uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy's, uh, you know, association with the BJP has been more of the flow strategy manage, or flow management, but political strategy and political alignment is different. Right, Pal. Pal, thank you for bringing us all those details. Do stay with us. Right now, we have some political reactions that's coming into the story. Let's first have a look at those. Jain Chaudhary ji, बहुत सुलझे हुए इंसान हैं, बहुत पढ़े लिखे हैं. राजनीति को वो समझते हैं मुझे उम्मीद है कि किसानों की लड़ाई और उत्तर प्रदेश की खुशहाली की तरफ जो संघर्ष चल रहा है उस लड़ाई को वो कमजोर नहीं होने देंगे मेरा मानना है कि आरएलडी पार्टी ने हमेशा किसानों का साथ दिया है और किसानों की आवाज बहुत मजबूत करी है पार्लियामेंट में संसद के अंदर भी और बाहर भी और जिस तरह भाजपा सरकार लगातार किसानों के विरुद्ध काम कर रही है रेसलर जो बहनें थी उनका अपमान हुआ है भाजपा सरकार द्वारा तो मेरा नहीं मैं नहीं मानती कि जो आरएलडी के जो मौजूदा जो नेता हैं जयंत चौधरी जी जो राज्यसभा मेंबर भी हैं वो इस तरह का कोई कदम उठाएंगे जिससे सीधे किसानों को क्षति पहुंचे लगातार राष्ट्रीय मीडिया पर राष्ट्रीय लोकदल के भारतीय जनता पार्टी से गठबंधन पर खबर चल रही है ऐसी खबरें पूरी तरह बेबुनियाद हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी के खिलाफ जिन मुद्दों पर राष्ट्रीय लोकदल लगातार संघर्षरत रहा है चाहे वो किसान आंदोलन के स्थगन के दौरान जिन बातों पर सहमति बनी उन बातों में से एक बात पर सरकार ने चर्चा नहीं की एमएसपी जैसे महत्वपूर्ण मुद्दे पर आज तक कोई चर्चा नहीं हुई राष्ट्रीय लोकदल और समाजवादी पार्टी का गठबंधन बहुत अटूट है 
क्योंकि राष्ट्रीय लोक दल के जो नेता हैं वो भारत के पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री और इस देश के किसानों के मसीहा चौधरी चरण सिंह जी के पौत्र भी हैं और चौधरी चरण सिंह के विचारों से वो राजनीति भी कर रहे हैं हम लोग भी माननीय अखिलेश यादव जी स्वर्गीय मुलायम सिंह यादव जी सब लोग चौधरी चरण सिंह के विचारों पर राजनीति कर रहे हैं हमारा उनका विचार मिलता है इसलिए हमें पूरा भरोसा है कि उन और हम सब मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे we will cut across to pile and understand uh, the situation that is ongoing in andhra pradesh even better with greater depths uh pile coming to you you were also telling us with regards to how there have been back end meetings not just the one that took place with between amit shah and chandra babu naidu if you could tell us a bit about the timeline of these meetings that have taken place and also what they have amounted to so far in the alliance talks Uh, well you know one knows that chandra babu naidu was in the national capital a couple of months ago and in fact he had a closed door meeting with amit shah and jp nadda and after that he had soon gone back and has never spoken a word about that meeting obviously for obvious reasons because nobody wants to really jinx this you know by announcing what is really happening in these meetings having said that i wish i was the fly on the wall and i could know who met and what were the conversation but i do know for a matter of fact through my sources in the tdp that the tdp leadership uh, among the top 3 leaders of the tdp have been constantly in touch with the bjp they in fact uh, have uh, had positive uh, rounds of talks the fact that the center in fact allowed a meeting to jagan uh, to chandra babu naidu's son you know late uh, uh, during late after his arrest as well also gives you an indication that probably the center wanted to engage uh, with uh, with the with the tdp and understand their angst as well Hmm. In fact, on multiple uh, occasions, the uh, BJP leadership has also inquired from the TDP leaders here in the uh, parliament about the well-being of Mr. Naidu as well. This is also what we are given to understand. But you know, like we said, that you know, Naidu is not a stranger to the uh, to the to the NDA. Hmm. He was part of the Vajpayee government. He's been somebody who's had a long association with Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee hmm. in the past. He came back to NDA in 2014 after being out of power for the last 10 years. You know, before that as well. So. that is something which is also seen uh, but you know obviously it was a very very emotional call for naidu to actually walk out of the alliance because he was a put under pressure to demand special status for the state of andhra pradesh and the special status of andhra pradesh is still not here as well so now mm-hmm. obviously a lot of questions are being asked of jagan mohan reddy as well that you came to power at the back of this thing that you'll get uh, 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 andhra pradesh special status what about that as well so as right. far as the vote bank is also concerned one has to understand that the vote banks as far as uh, uh, the tdp and the bjp might be very similar but uh, you know td uh, the vote bank between bjp and uh, jagan mohan's party are conflicting because jagan mohan party has a lot of minority votes and a lot of christian votes which are actually not traditionally bjp vote bank right pal pal do stay with us because right now we also have arun dhanta joining us on this broadcast to give us more details arun a very good morning to you well while we have been focusing on the talks between the uh, gdp and the uh, nda as well as uh, pavan kalyan's role in it let's also try and understand this from the indi blocks view because we know uh, because we know that the situation currently between uh, between uh, the congress and the other allies that they have aren't too well because we've seen two major uh, leaders come out of that block only recently what's the situation like uh, with regards to andhra pradesh as well as the shiromani akali dal uh, talks that's taking place between the nda and that party well see uh, shreya one thing is uh, very clear here bjp is trying to play on uh, two things one of course is the narrative that see you have uh, india alliance uh, parties who are joining the fold of uh, nda that will also Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, solves a good purpose for Bharatiya Janata Party as far as messaging is concerned. And secondly, of course, the target which they have uh, kept for themselves. Prime Minister Modi in the Parliament, if you remember, uh, had talked about uh, the target of uh, 400 seats for NDA. Uh, and I think so. These two purpose, uh, uh, you know, will have uh, uh, these two things. Th- you know, this purpose will will actually be. is served by these uh, these these things which are happening now what we are seeing that whether it is uh, akali dal tdp or uh, J, uh, jdu is already in the fold of uh, nda uh, they all have been with the, with with nda in the past as well and they all have realized and that uh, that their performance has been better whenever they have been with the nda